Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 351. It's an easy and I don't know why the accuracy is so low, but okay, let's see what it is asking us to do. So the problem name is number of beautiful pairs. You are given a zero index integer array nums, a pair of indices i and j. Okay, is called beautiful if the first digit of nums of i and the last digit of nums of j are co-prime. What do we mean by co-prime? Co-prime is basically two numbers whose GCD is equals to one. What is GCD? GCD is basically the greatest common divisor. Okay, that is what written here. Two integers x and y are co-prime. If there is no integer greater than one, that divides both of them. In other words, x and y are co-prime. If GCD of x and y is one, the GCD of x and y is the greatest common divisor. Okay, I, I hope you all know what is greatest common divisor. For example, if I have three and nine, so one divides both of them. So one is a common divisor. Two doesn't divide both of them, but three also divides both of them. So the largest number that divides both of them is three. So this is the GCD of three and nine, right? The thing to note here is I is basically an element on the left. J is basically an element on the right. So you have to count the number of pairs, right? Let's see that. It says there are five beautiful pairs in nums, right? When I is equals to zero, J is equals to one. The first digit of nums of zero is two. And the last digit of nums of one is five. Obviously the GCD of these two is one. Similarly, you can pair two and one, okay? What about five? You can pair five and one, you can pair five and four, and you can pair one and four. Total five pairs will be there, okay? Totally, an implementation trace problem, nothing much to think in this, okay? The number of elements you can have is 100. Each element can be this, okay? And nums of i mod 10 is not equals to zero, right? Because obviously GCD of zero, you'll have to handle that case and a bunch of other things, right? Let's see what I'm doing here. So answer is equals to zero. This is the, num this is the number of elements I have. Now just see i is equals to 0 and j goes from 1 plus uh, i plus 1 to n because again i have to consider i and j, i is on the left hand side and j is on the right hand side right so you calculate the first digit get first digit of nums of i what's the last digit of nums of j that is just taking mod by 10 if gcd of both of them is 1 you you basically increment your answer this is the core logic now comes how to calculate the first digit okay this i have written a function you pass a number and obviously suppose your number is 123 136 something like this if you have a number is like, if your number is like this you keep on dividing it by 10 so first you get 9 your new number becomes 136 then you get 6 your new number becomes 13 you get 3 your new number becomes 1 you get 1 your new number becomes 0 so whatever is the last digit that you got that actually is the first digit of the number right so that is what i'm doing here while num is greater than 0 current digit equals to num what 10 num divided by equals to 10 so you keep on updating your current digit and that will basically be your first digit because obviously when you keep on dividing a number by 10 you traverse the digit in reverse order okay that's the current digit what about gcd gcd that this is a very standard function the euler function right i won't go into depth of this function but this basically is how you calculate the gcd right repeated subtraction you do and hence i've added a mod here okay and finally you just return your total number of pairs that you get right so i exactly don't know where people are failing why the accuracy is so low maybe the accuracy is low because of this thing how do you calculate the first digit okay and the second thing where that's an edge case is basically that um, we have to consider two distinct numbers right i and j are pairing so consider first digit of this and last digit of this don't do it vice versa so that is the second place where you can fail right so yeah, that's it for the solution. Mm, so yeah, do let me know in case you have any queries related to the solution. I'll revert on all the comments that I get. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.